still a very sad scene out here in Centerville, but the Experimental Aircraft Association says it is a rare one. They say there are 30,000 planes that are home built in this country, and their inspections are just as rigorous as those for the factory builds. You put a lot of yourself into it, right? It's like any hobby. Max Cloward is building his own airplane in his Draper garage. Just hardware, rivets, wiring, every aspect that it's going to take to build this. He knows every switch and every rivet. And a lot of times they have to take them out and redo them to get it right because I know my life's going to depend on that. And before it can legally fly, an FAA inspector will have to sign off. He'll look at the engine, he'll look at how it's built, he'll look at my logs of all the things that I built and assembled and how I did it. Cloward's a member of the Experimental Aircraft Association. They help each other on builds and say amateur built safety records are as good as the factory planes after the first few flights. A home built aircraft has to be flown 25 to 40 hours without any passengers over unpopulated areas, kind of as a shakedown cruise. Napinski says after those first 10 hours, the safety records are similar. Neither pilot would speculate on Wednesday's crash in Eden or Thursday's in Centerville, but say there's a risk in everything. You'll see a lot more accidents of people on ATVs and motorcycles and boats. He explains the risk of his hobby, but can't fully explain his love of it. It's like, why do I love my wife? It's like, you could go through all these lists of things, but really I just do, and that's unexplainable. Now to fly this or any other plane, you do have to have a private pilot's license and annual physicals. The EAA says that by building yourself, you can cut the $300,000 new plane price tag about in half. In Centerville, Brian Champagne, Fox 13 News, Utah.